A tiny pinprick of light can brighten a room full of darkness because we have the truth and there's nothing more powerful than that. Abdullah, Abdullah, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yeah, We're traveling all around Europe. Oh. Trying to convince people to stop harming animals. It's a tough ride, like, doing this. I don't think you get enough credit for how, how important you are for the vegan movement. Especially tonight, it was really um, emotional for me and, and especially that last guy who spoke to me really hit me a lot, eh? He really felt uncomfortable talking about that with me. He tried to intimidate me so that I'd stop talking about it, basically. Stop, 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 stop! Stop, 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 stop! stop. No, I'm, I'm not even arguing. I'm just, no, no, just we're having like a conversation. A How is it being aggressive? The two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. There's a fire inside your heart. Let it light up the world. Light up the world. Uh, so we just landed in Doha. That was a 14 hour flight here and we've got to make our next plane to Amsterdam. Let's do it. Wait till we start going to vigils and stuff and just everything starts pouring out. I'm blessed and divinely guided at all times. That seems refreshing. We've got a lot of airports to go to on this trip. A lot. We've got to get prepared for all the airport stuff. That's going to be half the battle, getting through airports. Mm. Yeah, speaking business better mind your own. What? Talking loud, never mind your tone. Futuristic been setting trends. You late, you probably got a house. Phone. Well, we just did two massive flights, and um, we're gonna get all our stuff, get it all unpacked at the hotel, go check out the city. I don't think we'll get much of a chance to tomorrow, and then uh, tomorrow the events start. What are your What are your thoughts, Prick to Right now, man, I just feel really toasted from the airplane ride and um, when I don't sleep enough or I get really tired I can't I don't function very well um, but if you said to me right now we've got to go to free events I could do it it's just as well like dealing with lots of different organizers at once um, when your brain's not working properly it's quite a task Light, sweat, tears and everything I do but still I got everybody hey. let's get out of our hotel room we're just waiting for um, one of the organisers to pick us up, take us to the vigil. I think it's a duck slaughterhouse. I've never actually been to a duck slaughterhouse. Happy animals, see? They perpetuate this happy, humane myth all over the earth. Even here in Amsterdam, they're doing it. Tricking people. It's absolutely sick when you think about it. I feel full of energy after that sleep, eh? Hey? And I trained in the hotel. I've been training, doing exercise for my... Um, just to keep my mental health in check as well. This will be the first tour that I've done and exercise throughout the tour. It's really important when you're under a lot of stress as well. For the last year, I've just been doing activism, activism, activism. The only thing I've been doing is activism. No, nothing outside of that. So as well as them advertising our humane slaughtered animals in every country on earth, they also have this on every country on earth nearly. Vegan, advertising vegan pizzas here. How amazing is that in Amsterdam? The vegan movement's growing larger and larger. People are waking up en masse. Is this your car? Hello, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This will be my first workshop back for a while. Yeah. We don't plan on slowing down or going away yeah, either. Nice. We're, the real principle of veganism is animal rights. I mean, right. it's not a health promoting no. plant-based diet. It's, it's funny, like parents grow up telling their kids to eat their vegetables. And you mentioned veganism, which is plant-based and it freaks them out oh it's too many vegetables like you gotta have your blood and flesh carcinogens like just a little bit we're in deep farming country it's more like slaving it's not farming farming's for fruits and vegetables so easy to stop a truck here we wait for the perfect time hey Villo. Hey, hey Villo. Hey. hey Villo. how are hey. you good to see Villo. you man. good to see you I was just saying, like, sometimes when, because this, this slaughterhouse isn't cooperative, mm -hmm. like, sometimes what we do is, like, we get someone to wait in a car on the side of the road. When a truck comes, we give you a yell, and then you slow, you might, yeah, well, 
just slowly move out to the road and drive really slow, maybe 14 kilometers. Every time we've had an uncooperative slaughterhouse, it works every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today's gonna turn out well, it always does. I understand it's pretty nerve wracking coming out to these things because you sort of don't know what's gonna happen. It's all up in the air. You don't know how the slaughterhouse are gonna react. Sometimes days they're good, sometimes they're bad. You don't know how you're gonna react when you see the animals. It's all normal, everyone goes through that. I still go through that. It's still a mystery to me what's gonna happen at the slaughterhouse when you go to a vigil. Bearing witness is really nothing to it except for what it is. It's, it's being there with the animals and there's a difference between sort of understanding what's going on and knowing because you've been there with them. You go to outreach after this AV and you go speak to people after you've been at a slaughterhouse all day and it, you convey that in your emotion when you're speaking to people. You can show them pictures of the animals that are not too far away from where they live. Most powerful form of activism I've ever done. Bar none, nothing comes close. So thanks all for coming and hopefully we get to bear witness today. Yeah, so usually there's a guard out the front of this slaughterhouse here, but he prevents the activists from stopping the trucks. They're not cooperative, this slaughterhouse. But it seems like the guard's not here. My suspicions are that the guard's not here is because they've rearranged the trucks, which they do sometimes. Conveniently, we seen the last truck come in at 9.40 before everyone had arrived and this was booked in for 10 a.m. See, one of the most um, eerie things in the world is those trucks coming out empty. What Maria was saying to me in the car was something really, um, like she made a very profound point that ducks in sheds never get to see water and the only time they get to see water will be in here when they get lowered down into an electrical bath before they have their throats slashed open. Abdullah, Abdullah, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's say the best. It's a, yeah. the best duck in yeah. the world, yeah. huh? Yeah. Simply the best duck? Simply the best yeah. duck. Yeah. Simply the best duck. How disgusting is that? See how they manipulate people with their humane duck propaganda garbage? Absolutely sickening. In an insane world, the sane look crazy. Uh -huh. Hello. 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 Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? What's your name? I'm Anna. I you? heard you, you are a big guest here today. We, yeah, With we're your... raising awareness about what happens to animals good. more. So. All right, yeah. good. Have a good de demonstration today. Thank you very much. Good. She was so nice, eh? So. Do you eat animals? Yeah. Which ones? Ducks or chickens? Yeah, Mostly chickens. Sometimes. Pigs and cows and... Have yeah. you seen the slaughterhouse before and inside? No, no, no. 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 Yeah. I work uh, with the police. Yeah. But you never there. seen images in there? You never seen a video, video footage of inside a slaughterhouse? Uh, like no. when they kill the animals? No. With the, no. yeah. yeah. I have seen many hours of slaughterhouse footage. They all struggle for their life in there, all of them. No, none, no animal wants to die in a slaughterhouse. They don't eat meat. No, not for five years. Okay. Yeah, I don't eat animals. Before that, you eat meat. 26 years. Big steak. Yeah. But then I, uh, I didn't connect the, uh, the meat to the animal. I, see, I called it meat. I didn't call it the cow or the pig. or I never met the animals as well. Yeah. So I just disconnected in my mind. But I've been to, in here in the Netherlands, I think they have gas chambers as well. They put the pigs in the gas chambers and CO2 gas and they're in a dungeon. And they scream, you can hear them screaming from the outside of the gas chambers. Yeah. For bacon, you know, spec. Yeah. 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 So like, if your food screams for their life, then it's not food, is it? You agree? That if, you f if your food is screaming for their uh, life. I, I don't uh, have a discussion with you about the meat or animals. Animals, you don't want to. It's hard to talk about, isn't it? Hmm? It's hard to talk no, about. No, no, no. I've grown up and on a farm. Yeah. But you never seen a slaughterhouse? Just the yeah, farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the slaughterhouse. you seen one? Did it make you hungry? No? It doesn't make you hungry, slaughterhouses. Like, when we go to a restaurant, we see the, we smell the flesh cooking with the herbs, it makes us hungry. But when we go to a slaughterhouse, it doesn't make us hungry. Do you, do you agree? because of blood and... 
No? Nie. Not very comfortable with that conversation. If me discussing how your food is made makes you feel like that, then there's something seriously wrong there. If you want the police to leave a slaughterhouse, start discussing how their food is made and they, they drive off. Good work, everyone. Okay, Dalsang, thanks for that. Okay. Bye bye. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we would be needing that. <laughs> All right, see you later. Oh, God, let's go. Oh. I like doing outreach, eh? I like talking to people. Look, they're completely halal. They choked on their own blood. So it's kind of like a dance. People like to say vegans are too preachy when you, you start to raise moral questions about their behaviour. But I feel like I need to practice my workshops a little bit more um, and get them back to where they were. Even uh, if they didn't suffer, I still wouldn't because they were murdered. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I don't really, it's really, that, that they suffer is worse, but that, that they were murdered is, the, that's enough.